So as you know, uh, as you said before, you have to um, to upload the pictures in the file administration. <coughs> Uh, so you have, for example, uh, I would say to create, for example, a folder that where you uh, pull, put all the pictures, for example. So I would create here a new folder, and I would call it uh, photo albums. So there you have it here, photo albums. And then underneath each album, I would advise you to, to create a subfolder, uh, for example, event, uh, gallery, event, something like that. Uh, new. So we have here the uh, the photo albums here. So I'm going just to upload some pictures. This is completely different from the what my colleague explained before uh, concerning an individual pictures. Here you you uh, import several pictures. So I'm going just to uh, no. I'm going to import all of these pictures, just four for the example. So all the pictures have been uploaded inside this folder. Uh, we would advise you to have uh, um, uh, a low resolution pictures, not not uh, greater than, for example, these pictures that we are uploading are final pictures from a gallery that we have in the program about the Alicante event. So, uh, as you can see, all of them have around 120 or 130 uh, kilobytes. Uh, we are sorry it's taking so long. Oops. Uh, I'm just going to leave to leave this and to uh, restart. No, it's it's not okay. I'm just closing the program and getting back to it afterwards. I'm sorry, but. So let's see what happened with the pictures. Uh, 
well, it uploaded all the pictures, so you have all the pictures. So we have, uh, for them to be to become an album, we have to uh, select the folder and create an album in Photos Gallery. This means that we are creating an album that will be actually read in the folder galleries of the website page tree. So f just just for you to see. In the website tree of the program of the of the project, there is a folder here, which is called Photos Gallery, and this folder will read all the pictures galleries, all the the photo albums that have been created in the file administration, converted to albums. So you just click here, and sometimes this doesn't work. So it's the second button. It's this button. And you have to wait until the folder becomes a, gal uh, a photo album with having a blue shape. You can edit the album here, so you can give it a title. You save it. And now, as you can see, there is this blue symbol over the folder, which means that there is we have created a, a photo album. So the photo album now, we have to uh, try to put it in a page. So then again, we, have, we go back to the website tree. And we create a page to, uh, we can create a page or we can put this album inside the news, for example. Uh, well, I'm just going to, to make it in the news and then explain to you uh, in the example website, you have here already pre configured galleries and I'll show you all of them for you to understand the differences. So, for example, I will uh, click on this uh, news. And I'm going to add this photo album we have just created. So as you can see, related media albums, just going to, to the file collection. You click on the folder Photos Gallery. And then, as you can see, the, the photo album is here. So it is very important that you first uh, upload the pictures in the file administration, then convert the folder into uh, a, a, an album, and when you are uh, retrieving it to display it in a page, you uh, have to go to the website tree and find this uh, folder that is called Photos Gallery. This has nothing to do with the file administration. It's a folder that is in the website tree in the registration of extensions. So we click on it. We hope it reacts someday. There you have it. Now it's, it's here. So I'm going to just to save it. And we are going to see it on the page of the news we have created. So let's see the news itself. There you have now the gallery. The gallery. Uh, so you click to enlarge, and you have. Unfortunately, there are no arrows, and there is not the possibility to insert legends or titles or descriptions. You just see the gallery. As you can see, you have all the pictures of the gallery here, of the album, sorry, not the album. There's a big difference between an individual picture that we upload in the, in the pages, in some content or in some news, for example. Then you have the uh, album, which are several pictures. Then you have a gallery, which is several albums. 
So I'm just going to show you uh, an interesting case from uh, one of the uh, one of the projects, which is the Creative Wear. Creative Wear created galleries uh, for each of the of the, of its pilot projects, its pilot tests. So it has created a specific page of photo gallery, and you have the pilot's gallery. So for each pilot test, they made a, a gallery or an album. Here they are. So you click. These are these are albums. So this is uh, a pilot, the pilot's gallery instead of galleries because it's one gallery that has several albums. So uh, you click on it. And you can see all the pictures of this album. So, so just to explain it, several display functions of galleries. So you have, you can, um, in the same process as we have explained before, you can copy this. You can copy these pages that you find in the website, the example website. And then reconfigure them with your uh, the galleries you have created in in the file administration. So just for you to see, you the difference is you have either you have a single album or either you have several albums. So when you have a single album, you have something like this. All the pictures come uh, uh, through sentinels in the page. When you have several albums, and then you have two options. For example, you have URL disabled and URL enabled. When it's disabled, it means it, it's not found in Google searches. So if you want your gallery or your album to be, be found through Google search directly, you use a single album. URL enabled, but in terms of display, it's exactly the same. The pictures come like this, and then you click one on one of them, and there you have it. So you have also you can add to the album a description and the title. Then, for example, if you have several albums, either you have the in the folder, several albums, but you only choose to display two of them. So you have this option of selected albums. So here we have selected two, two of the albums that we have in our gallery. Again, we open, we click on the title of the album, and we have the, the pictures. Another option is that you have all the albums of one folder, and it will display the, all the albums without any choice. So you see, uh, before we had only two, the World Cafe and the Team Building Activities, and now we have all the five albums inside the folder. Actually, this is the folder from the web example website, but it doesn't matter. So this is all about uh, the, the pictures galleries. I don't know if you have any questions you wish to uh,